Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, as I am making this video, we got about 8 hours and 20 minutes left on the Season 2 Round 8, the final Roundup Season 2 in the Round Hub. Um, so, uh, I have a few outstanding events from this round. And for this one, we'll talk a little bit about the the Beamer M4 Limited Series. So the car itself was offered as a grand prize car back in Season 1, Round 6. So uh, for those of us who's been playing for a while, since the beginning of the Season 1, you may already own this car in your garage. And uh, ever since this uh, round was available, I was waiting for an uh, upgrade discount on this car. So hopefully be able to you know, complete this event for, uh, on, on discount, but, uh, eh, it hasn't happened. And, uh, at least in the current rendition of the game, there is no plan for, uh, at least in the current round, there's no, uh, I don't think there's any upgrade offer coming unless they surprise us in the final minute. Um, I don't think so. So we'll just have to bite the bullet and, uh, play like a normal limited series here without, um, you know, taking advantage of any kind of special offer. But with that being said, uh, the series itself, upon completing, you do get 40 gold back. And uh, of course, with the, with some 5,250 victory point, the chances are, uh, in my case, I have, com uh, I'm in the process of completing all events here which means that will get me uh, additional 30 gold compared to if I skipped it so that's 70 gold that I'll be returning uh, receiving back um, and this limited series has a PR requirement of 48.6 so um, here let's let's get started uh, so in order to meet that PR requirement of 48.6, basically it's the typical all three upgrades across the board, right? So 21 upgrades total, and the cost of that is 226 gold and some 911,300 racing dollars. So not the most expensive car. I mean, you know, at PR under 50, that's what you expect, right? Uh, so about 70 gold we get back, so... You can kind of equate it to maybe like 30% discount on the the first three upgrades, right? Since that's what we're going to be putting on this car in order to complete the limited series. And of course, with that PR, you should be able to complete some 75% on the bonus series the car is featured in, which will be video for another time. But anyway, so that is the cost associated with this uh, limited series and the rewards as well. So, yeah, BMW M4 limited series, earn a BMW M4 by 100% completing this special limited series. A worthy successor to Incredible M3, the M4 is equipped to dominate any track. Cool. Alright, so here are the Rewards breakdown of that 40 gold, first 25% completion gets you 5 gold, 10,000 racing dollars, 750 victory points. The 50% completion gets you 1,000 victory points, 10 additional gold, 20,000 racing dollars. And 75% completion, kind of the same thing in terms of gold, but you get 1,500 victory points and 25,000 racing dollars for the effort and of course final 100% get you the remaining 2,000 victory points plus 15 gold and 35,000 racing dollars. Anywho, uh, yeah, let's get rolling, shall we? So tier one, endurance at uh, Laguna Seca. And the task number one, we'll have to put some racing dollar upgrades on, basically the tier one upgrades available on this car since uh, we're not going to go very far beyond tier 1 with just a uh, running stock. So base PR 33, uh, top speed 249 kph, 
uh, acceleration time of 4.06 seconds, so 0 to 100, right? Uh, 31.1 meters for the braking distance and the grip of 1.1 G. So, you know, beamers generally tend to be grippy in the game. So this one with a 1.1 G at the top speed of uh, 249, I would say that's going to feel relatively grippy. Uh, but uh, as I said, since tier 1 upgrades will take a couple of hours, 2 hours and 30 minutes per, you know, like for each every single one. So we'll just get them all on board right away. So by the time we need to get through tier 2, we can have these upgrades ready. There we go. And uh, tier 1 upgrades are the only ones that are available with the racing dollars in this car or on this car. So, yep. All right, but for now, we can get going on the limited series. Tier 1 endurance should be about 5, yeah, 5.8 kilometers. And we'll get a good look on the handling how grippy or how quick this car or how nimble this car is. All right. And off we go. Yeah, looks like a Beamer sedan, right? The interior. All right. So our target distance is what? 5.6 or something like that. So we probably just need to overtake five cars. That should be enough. Although this car isn't obviously the fastest car in the game. So we may need the sixth car um, since these earlier part of the Endurance cars travel pretty slow. We got a bunch of Sunday drivers here, so <laughs> We'll have to um, And since I'm not planning on putting any more upgrades than absolute what's absolutely needed to complete this limited series um, Yes, we will be I will be running with the minimum margin of victory so I don't end up having to face any tier where um, some sort of a speed record or speed snap ends up requiring what's just impossible with the uh, you know PR uh, what was that 48.6 the required PR alright looks like I may have to upgrade uh, overtake that guy P, uh, the sixth car Alright, and then we get the lap bonus, alright, yep, nice, pretty grippy ride as uh, predicted, and yeah, I mean, it's alright. Not sure if there's anything special that makes this car stand out amongst other beamers, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, all right, we'll finish right at the marker. Well, actually, a little past the marker. But you know what I mean. Close enough. Alright. Pick up a few fame points for the effort. And yeah. Five 
service bars for about five kilometers of traveling, right? So they that's usually how many service bars uh, gets taken out per race each kilometer, roughly, right? Obviously, if you're coasting, it doesn't cost you anything, um, generally speaking. Anyway, up next we got autocross at Bugatti Circuit, so let's do that. And target time, 49 seconds and change. Let's see, where does this take place? I think it's at the end, right? Final bit of the circuit. Oh no, it's at the beginning part of the circuit. Never mind, speed snap is the other end. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, pushing pretty uh, deep into a corner before braking. Same here. Since the, you know, it's pretty grippy for the speed that we have. But the top speed obviously is not, or the acceleration or the speed isn't its uh, strong suit. So just kind of plan accordingly, right? All right, so 47 and a half, close enough. Right, so that is good enough for trophy, gold trophy number two out of 45 required. So two down, 43 more to go, but first one, <laughs> number three to wrap up uh, tier one of this limited series. First, we got Red Bull Ring. Uh, National Circuit 2 Lap Cup. Yes, Tier 1. There's no um, PR requirement, of course. Alright. And we're off. We do have drafting active in this limited series, as you notice. The speed, uh, the speed marker changing to orange for those not familiar. That's what it means when you're drafting or getting drafted. Like here, quicker acceleration, right? And we're able to reach higher top speed than we would otherwise so I think every series should have drafting enabled it does add that layer of variety which is always fun and we'll check out the ride from the chase view as well yeah the sound wise definitely much better on the cockpit view right That muffled engine sound. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty short cup race here. So yeah, before uh, I'll try to upload this video before the current version or the this round expires so it's somewhat relevant to the gameplay but uh, if it gets uh, published after or later at later time or if you guys visit the video later time well at least uh, this will be for uh, posterity's sake let's just say
All right. A few extra fame points for the effort. Quick two laps under two minutes. And takes out another four and a half service bars or so. And that wraps up uh, stage one or tier one of the limited series. And uh, unlocks tier two. So one down, 14 more tiers to go. So uh, stay tuned for the next tier playthrough. Thanks for watching.